What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are finally going to be addressing this front bumper issue with a new replacement bumper. So as you can see this bumper is very clapped up. It's clapped waters and we got a brand new spicy same bumpers the same style but we got a brand new one. So uh, BMW is going to be looking very nice tidy. I also have these little quick connects so you just mount this portion on the car itself and then you stick the ballpoint into here. This will be put onto the bumper so it gives it nice and clean and it's easy to take off if I need it. These will also be getting painted as well. I got four of these so it's gonna be two in the corner and then two in the middle. So they look like sensors so it's a nice OEM look which is, you know, I love me some OEM stuff. So we're gonna get ahead, get those mounted. So what I went ahead and did is I took off the front bumper and place it over there now the reason for me doing this is because we're not going to be using these fogs anymore i actually got new ones with the bumper and we're not going to be using this front lip so we're just going to be running a nice oem looking front no lip no nothing and we have different fog light covers as well so these are the new fog light covers it's a different style than the normal open ones that I like to run, but it does make it look a little bit cleaner. If I don't like it, I can always just switch back. These are not gonna be painted. These are gonna stay exactly how they are, because as you can see, it's like a nice, it has a nice shiny finish. So we're gonna keep these safe. And what we are going to do is we're gonna plot out the locations of our push pin. So I'm thinking one right here, one right here, and then one on the corner and then one on the other corner. That way, like I said, it looks OEM and it looks nice and clean. Okay, so we got the front bumper, you know, a little test fit going on. It looks like I'm gonna have to trim a little bit off here because of the overhang. So I'll just do like a little mark down there. That way, when it goes, actually, yeah, it's just gonna have to be trimmed because I want this thing to look flush and neat. So, uh, yeah. Honestly, I think with the height and how the bumper sits, I may have to put that front lip on because this is a bit too high for me. So that front lip might have to go on. First off, ignore the hat. It's cold, my top is cold, your boy bald, you get it. But we have the uh, holes drilled out, one and two. I can't do it on the corners because of this bracket here. That and on the back side of the bumper, there's also a bracket right there. So it kind of makes things a bit difficult. So what we're gonna do is since these just slide into place on those brackets, it's pretty secure. So I'm just gonna drill out two holes, zip tie that right there. And then same thing on that side. And then this right here, and this right here will be for our uh, quick connect. So since we're using these OEM looking plugs, I, what I did was these two are blank. These two middle ones are blank. And then that one on the outside right there is actually connected just like this one is right there. It's a regular spot, OEM spot. For some reason, the ones where I put the, where I drilled this hole right there, it just doesn't allow me to actually secure it down. So that being said, we are going to use the pre-existing holes. They go right in. All I gotta do is lock them down and then mark out on the bumper where it needs to be uh, drilled out. So if you push down on a bumper, you can actually see like a little dimple right there. That's where we need to drill out. And we now have the bumper prepped, the car is prepped. The last thing we need to do is just paint the bumper and get it all nice and paint matched. I think I am gonna end up throwing the front lip on because this just sits a bit too high for my liking. So I'm gonna throw the front lip on after we get it painted. I'll probably let it sit for maybe, you know, a couple hours and then come back at night and throw it on. All right, boys, we now have our front bumper nice and primed. As you can see, we got all of that primed up. Everything is primed in one piece. So now we can go ahead and throw on our first layer of paint. As always, I went down to my local paint shop, grabbed some 354 BMW titanium silver because that's what your boy got and now we can go ahead give this a nice little shake I like to turn it upside down and we can give it a first spray
So with the first sprays, I like to go pretty light. This is only the base coat. Okay, so we got a pretty solid first coat down. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes to let it dry. And then I'm gonna come back and hit it with our second coat. And if we have enough, then I'll hit it with a third coat. Okay, coat number two is good. We don't have enough for coat number three, but it's not a big deal because we got pretty solid coverage all the way around. Just gotta wait for this to dry. That way we can go ahead and throw on our 2K clear. But so far, so good. Um, everything is good. It kind of looks like it's off a bit, but it's just lack of lighting that I have. If I open the garage all the way, you'll see it better, but I don't really want to do that because the paint is still wet. It's crazy windy and all of the debris from outside is just going to end up on our freshly painted bumper. So I'm going to play it safe and do the right thing and not open that garage and keep that where it is right now. All right, you guys, it is the very next morning. We got our bumper painted and put on and it works. Everything works perfectly fine, no issues. It does look like it's a different shade, but that's literally only in the sun or in like the shadows. The bumper's painted, everything's good. It looks OEM, honestly, with all the uh, quick release tabs. So that's a big plus, cause you know, big OEM guy. But that is going to do it for today's video. Why can't, okay, cool. That's gonna do it for today's video. Like I said, stay tuned for all the stuff that we got coming up because it's gonna be a blast, blast. And it's finally nice out, so no more wind and it's not crazy hot, so we're gonna be doing some, we outside, we outside, that's it.